though Allen was an idealist who'd joined anti-war groups in the hope that war wouldn't break out, and who'd raised money for striking munitions workers. When the war began, Allen joined up. Now, become a maths don, he was hired by Bletchley Park, where British intelligence was desperately trying to crack the naval codes of the Nazis' Enigma machine, and thus save Allied shipping from U-boat attack. Thanks to a mechanical breakthrough by Alan Turing, Enigma's secrets were painstakingly exposed. Threats from the German submarine fleet were diffused as the Allied navies got to know its every move. After Turing's ingenuity was credited by Winston Churchill for winning the war in the North Atlantic, Turing moved on to envisage mechanising thought itself by concentrating on a machine that could learn. At Manchester University, he'd pioneer computing science through the universal Turing machine, with which he aimed to store all the information in the world, retrieving it from miles and miles of paper tape. Turing would pave the way for machines that played chess through his work on computable numbers, creating one to win at chess each time, the Turo champ, but most he hoped for one to store consciousness. Then, when he'd created the field of artificial intelligence and the basis for the art of programming, his machine enabled large-scale pulse technology to turn thoughts into mechanical processes. This vision that he'd had in 1936 of a machine language for his universal computing machine enabled the creation of the first electronic computer, the Colossus, whose workings led to the PC. When he was a boy, Turing had designed a typewriter, which was a machine that manipulated symbols. Now he foresaw something with its own conscious will, guided throughout by Chris Morecambe, his muse. When Alan was drunk, he'd see Chris, glimpse him in a fleeting face, hoping to relive his past. He'd latch onto rent boys who trigger a memory, then he'd call Chris's name out as he climaxed. Alan was caught, arrested, charged, and sentenced to be forcibly injected with oestrogen, to reduce his libido, then summarily dismissed from Manchester's research group. Under British law, an offence of gross indecency was considered a felony, and to avoid prison, he'd agree to virtual castration by hormone injection. Thus, the country he'd saved would kill him. On the 7th of June, 1954, Turing's housekeeper found his body, and nearby was an apple laced with cyanide. The father of the modern computer had taken a single bite, then the poisoned fruit <laughs> rolled to the floor. Have a bite! <laughs> it's not for you. It's for Snow White.